I think the weirdest people are the ones that hate music. You know who's next? The ones that say, music changed my life. I mean, it did change mine, but not in the same way. FL Studio is just an extension of my brain. If I think of something, it takes me 30 seconds before it's in there. Might not sound good, but the idea is there. And there it was, the realization that I don't feel nearly as much connection to the process of making music. But after six years of exploring what's right for me, I can now say that After Effects is an extension of my brain. And isn't that what making art is supposed to be? You feel, think, imagine something, and then you find a way to bring it to the real world. Just say that today I'm supposed to introduce and walk you through the most important tool you need to turn your imagination into a good video. The tool is called masking, and the concept is pretty simple. It's the ability to separate objects from the rest of the video. You do this by simply tracing the shape of the object and telling the software what parts to show and what to keep invisible. And trust me, masking will be the first step for many of the effects you'll be making later on. From putting simple text behind a subject. To making full-blown transitions, masking remains constant. The shape you trace is called the mask, and to draw one, you'll need the pen tool. Now you need to select a layer and start outlining your subject. For this example, ke liye, I don't need to be precise. I can draw an approximate mask around the guitar, keyframe the mask path to kind of follow it, and I can still get the result I wanted. This is obviously because the videos were shot on a black background, and the edit simply didn't demand precision. But what if your subject has a complex shape? In that case, you'll have to sit and manually keyframe the mask path to follow the shape of your object. And for those cases, you would want to know about the roto brush tool now select the roto brush tool and double click your layer this should open the viewer window for the specific layer and now you can rotoscope here the tool is like magic and once you click and drag it will try to find the edges of your subject on its own you can define the subject better by brushing over it and remove the unwanted parts by holding alt while dragging you can now press play and depending on your video the software will do its job it will obviously make mistakes sometimes and you'll have to be there to fix them these view modes come in handy when you're going for the detail and there is also the refine edge tool for those hairy edges when you feel like you've done enough Refining, you can hit the freeze button. This will prevent any more changes to the rotoscope layer, but it also improves playback. So here's what I think: you can use masking when you're making transitions, or your camera is stationary and your object is easy to mask. But if your scene demands the object to stay for long, I'll go for the roto brush. It is also sometimes too difficult to use manual masking, and for those cases, rotoscope is always there to save you. But rotoscoping for smaller effects becomes a heavy task, so choose your method based on the effect you're aiming for. Now, before you go ahead and leave an angry comment, I obviously know that this is not a detailed tutorial. I think unless we have a final effect to get to, bombarding you with so much information about the small little details and settings is trivial. I will tell you and you will forget. If you didn't already know, this is part 4 of an 8 part series where I am trying to introduce new content creators to the world of video editing. I remember when I started learning, I didn't even know what to search for. Now that you have watched my video, you know what tutorials to search and learn from. Once I am done with these 8 videos, I can use a whole video to cover a single effect and those will be detailed tutorials. I also see a few people commenting that they don't want to see the heavily edited intros and just want full-blown tutorials. But why would you want to learn from someone you don't even respect?